Now, ever since the release of Star Wars The Last Jedi by director Ryan Johnson back in December of 2017 and the backlash from the fans that came along with it really changed exactly how fans actually looked at the sequel trilogy and how Disney and Lucasfilm are really handling the Star Wars franchise. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, in this video, in this post, I actually wanted to express my true feelings. I wanted to really just admit my true feelings about the Star Wars franchise and exactly where things are really going and how I feel about everything coming together here based on what we have heard and seen related to The Rise of Skywalker, my take on The Last Jedi in greater depth, and a lot more. Now, you guys may have missed it, but I actually did do a review of The Last Jedi where I went over my concerns about the future of the franchise and my problems with The Last Jedi, and the fact that now the cast of The Rise of Skywalker is starting to express their true feelings about the overall sequel trilogy and how fans thought about The Last Jedi. You guys may have seen what John Boyega said about The Last Jedi just a couple of days ago, and how Daisy Ridley seems a little deflated in her interviews, and Oscar Isaac saying nope to returning his role as Poe Dameron in the Disney Plus, you know, streaming service if they ever wanted to make stories about Poe. He actually does not want to return, nor does John Boyega. You know, it really seems like that everything is starting to become more clear here, that even the cast of The Rise of Skywalker is expressing their true feelings about the overall Star Wars franchise. Now, my problems with The Last Jedi, as I went over a couple of years ago, I actually didn't go into it into greater depth here, but I will say that I honestly hated The Last Jedi. I really did. If I really have to be very clear and not sugarcoat anything, I really did hate The Last Jedi because when I went to go ahead and see that movie, and after I came out, I came out feeling very depressed. And I'm sure that some of you guys out there may have picked up on that in my initial review where I was somewhat confused about how I felt about the movie. It wasn't until I viewed the film a second time where I started realizing all of the major mistakes by Disney and Lucasfilm and director Ryan Johnson. And I will admit that, you know, Ryan Johnson was not fit for a Star Wars movie at all in any way, shape, or form. I just was mind-boggled as to why they would choose an independent filmmaker to make his way over into a massive Star Wars film, a massive franchise that has been around since 1977. And now going into The Rise of Skywalker and everything that we have been hearing about this movie and everything that has been lining up directly with the pieces of footage and the leaked soundtrack... The leaks are actually real. Everything related to Rey being a Skywalker. Everything related to, essentially, uh, you know, Ben Solo dying in the movie and Rey defeating Palpatine and Rey becoming the Chosen One. And Anakin Skywalker no longer being in the Rise of Skywalker and being cut from the film. And I just feel that Star Wars is going down a very bad path. It really is. It's almost like Padme Amidala says in Revenge of the Sith. You know, it's going down a path I can't follow, right? So when we look at the Star Wars franchise, all right, Bob Iger talked about this just the other day, where he actually said that they are looking to literally go past the Star Wars fans, to feel unburdened by the Star Wars fans, that they are essentially done, and that they want to focus on common moviegoers for these Star Wars movies to actually be catered towards. Now, with The Last Jedi, all my different problems with that was exactly what they did with Luke. The Casino City of Canto Bight was awful. I mean, it was terrible. I mean, there's no other way to express it. It was a waste of screen time. It really made no sense at all as to why it was in the plot of the movie. And then at the very end of The Rise of Skywalker, as we have gone over from the leaks and how it matches up directly, you know, with the soundtrack that leaked just yesterday is that everything related to Rey becoming a Skywalker. It's almost like that Disney and Lucasfilm are trying to drag the fans into the theaters by naming the movie The Rise of Skywalker in order to make fans think it has something significant to do with either Anakin or Luke. And I just believe that it's going to have... It, I honestly believe it's just going to cause a lot of frustration among many fans out there. And with The Last Jedi, I will say that when I went to go ahead and see that movie a second time, after my first initial viewing, before that one, uh, the theater was half empty. And that is the truth. When I went to go in there, the theater was half empty, 
and I felt even more depressed when I watched it a second time. Uh, you know, everything ranging from, you know, Luke's death to the casino city of Canto Bight and wasting a lot of screen time on some of the newer characters that a lot of fans didn't really care about. And it almost seems like that we are heading in the same exact direction with the rise of Skywalker. And like I've always said before in the past, I have to be more honest with how I feel about the Star Wars franchise. And these are my true honest feelings, is that The Last Jedi really left a hole, you know, in my feelings for the Star Wars franchise. It really did. I hoped for the best for The Rise of Skywalker, and so far from what the leaks, you know, have been suggesting, and how they have been matching directly up, with the actual, you know, track listings that have leaked for the soundtrack. Everything is in line. Everything is real. Everything ranging from the death of Palpatine by the hands of Rey to Ben Solo dying by transferring his life force over to Rey. And some people actually might like that, but it is going to be a Rey Lo moment because they kiss. So if you guys are not Rey Lo fans, that is going to be a real interesting observation for Star Wars fans, is to see exactly how other fans are going to react to that that are not a fan of the Raylo thing. So, my feelings with The Last Jedi, it really kind of changed my perception of the Star Wars franchise. It really did. It made me view, you know, the future of everything related with Disney in a different light. Like I say, I still hope for the best with The Rise of Skywalker, but things really are not looking too bright at all. And when I look at what Bob Iger stated just the other day, it really, really affected me. It really did. It really made me feel like they are just trying to sweep, you know, the Star Wars fans over to the side and focus on common moviegoers, which is literally what Bob Iger admitted just the other day, is that they want to feel unburdened by Star Wars fans. They don't want to feel like they're being held back by Star Wars fans. And that these new movies in the future are going to be for the general audience. Which basically means that anybody that goes ahead and sees these Star Wars movies aren't really looking for anything specific and that they won't really be for Star Wars fans. And I will say that that really f makes me feel like I'm betrayed by Disney and Lucasfilm. Now I know some of you out there may sound... may take this like, uh, you know, uh, like I'm overreacting or something like that. That's fine. Everybody can interpret this in different ways. But the way I feel as a true Star Wars fan and how everything is happening over in Hollywood with the Hollywood agenda and identity politics, everything related to that needs to stop. I really feel that Hollywood lives in a bubble, so to speak. If you look at the Hollywood uh, you know, community, and if you look at what they have done with the Star Wars movies, and what they have done with the Terminator franchise, Ghostbusters 2016, uh, other Star Wars films out there in the works, and other TV series, that seems like it's going to go down the same exact path. And I will say that I may actually touch on those movies in the future. I would like to hear what you guys have to say about that, everything related to everything in the Hollywood bubble here, and I honestly really do feel that there needs to be a pushback. That's my honest, you know, feelings, you know, here, and my honest thoughts is that I feel that there needs to be a pushback toward the Hollywood bubble and their Hollywood agenda and their identity politics being thrown into Star Wars and being thrown into other movies out there as well. Terminator Dark Fate was a great example, and I may touch on that in the future. If you guys want me to talk about, you know, the other films out there within Hollywood, let me know below in the comments. But when we look at Star Wars here, that's the problem is that it just makes me feel like that it's not true to the originals and the prequels. There's something about these new movies so far, and I will say that I did believe that The Force Awakens was a decent Star Wars film. I will say that, but for the most part, it was too much of a rehash of Star Wars A New Hope. It didn't feel, even at the time, there were moments where it didn't feel right, where you could almost tell that Disney and Lucasfilm just wasn't quite staying true to the franchise. And even Bob Iger admitted to this, that... Basically, what they're trying to do is that they are trying to play it safe with The Force Awakens, is what they did. So, alright, at the very end of that movie, I said, alright, let's just see how The Last Jedi rolls out, and everything that we were hearing about The Last Jedi ended up to be very disappointing for a lot of fans out there. And I will say that it really affected how, you know, I actually feel towards the, the Disney Star Wars films and how I feel toward the future of the Star Wars franchise. 
So I just wanted to touch on my feelings a little bit there. You know, I wanted to really admit the truth about my feelings about Star Wars, The Last Jedi, The Force Awakens, and how I feel about the leaks with The Rise of Skywalker and how this may very well be a repeat of what's happened with The Last Jedi and the backlash that that received. So anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.